guys. Good morning. Good morning. Wee, 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 wee. Hi. Good morning. Hello. Hi, Marshmallow. Hi. Hello. Good morning. You guys have made <laughs> an absolute mess. Um, I didn't spot clean last night. So we have definitely got to spot clean this morning um, because it's it's pretty bad. They have made an absolute mess. Can I pet you, Pepper? No. <laughs> All right. You guys like some hay? Okay. Marshmallow, I feel like she is the smartest one somehow because every time I give hay, I start with this box and they all climb in there and all four of them have to share that hay. But Marshmallow will wait until I put the hay in the other box and come all the way over here because she knows I'm going to do that and she can have it to herself. And nobody else has realized that yet. So she always gets hay to herself because everybody else jumps on the hay over there. Good morning, boys. Hello. Are you still eating your veggies from last night? He like saves them all night long. And then, see, he still has a piece right there. <laughs> You're so funny. Hi, buddy. Bye. Yes, 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 I hear you. Hello. Hello. <laughs> yes, it's coming. Waffles eats so much hay. He's like a literal vacuum. He just sucks it all up. Let you out. And Coda will not touch <laughs> the hardwood. Like Luna does it better, but he absolutely hates it. Hi, Coda. So I like to put down a little bridge for him <laughs> with this puppy pad. And then he can like cross the hardwood to the main carpet. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. And they have been getting along so great. They've been bonded for just a few weeks now. And honestly, like, they're getting along great. Like, you can't even tell that they've only been bonded for a short time. It seems like they've been bonded for, like, forever. So I'm so happy that they're getting along and everything's going well. And Coda, I think, has put on a little bit of weight. You can see he's still pretty small, but we're actually going to the vet today um, to get his teeth trimmed again, to do blood work again, uh, because last time his blood work came back that he was possibly a little bit dehydrated and that could mean kidney issues, or it could just be like a one-time thing. So, hey, I'm gonna give you pellets, calm down. Let me get the pellets out. Coda. Coda, babes, come back. No, it's not over there. Coda, come here. Coda, come here. It's here. Dad, come here. I kind of forgot what I was saying, but anyway, um, so we're going back to the vet today, do more blood work, check up on that, um, and see if he's still looking like 
dehydrated because that could mean kidney issues or if it was just a one-time thing, probably do his RHDV2 vaccine if the vet deems him like healthy enough to receive that vaccine. And then also discuss um, scheduling his teeth removal surgery. So Coda's issue is that his uh, top and bottom front incisors are like misaligned. They just don't grow properly. So long-term solution is to just remove them because they will never be able to like file themselves down. I'm gonna have to keep trimming them. So I do want them removed. Um, this will be the second time we've trimmed them. Um, and it's like $50 each time, which isn't that bad. But long-term, obviously it just makes sense to remove his front incisors because they don't grow properly and he can still eat without them. And hopefully that will make him more interested in other kinds of food as well. Right now he is really only eating uh, pellets and some forage and maybe a small amount of hay. He hasn't really eaten vegetables yet and just all these other things that I think once his teeth are removed, he'll have a better chance to like eat freely and try those things. Hey buddy. But he loves the pellets, so <laughs> that is one positive. Hi. So I have to leave for the vet in like, I want to say literally like 20 minutes. Um, so we're going to have to leave soon, but their pen is also getting clean today because Coda is still learning to use the litter box. And unfortunately he has peed there and he also poops everywhere. Thankfully it's pretty much contained to this pen they, he doesn't really poop around the living room or anything like that so that's pretty good but we do have to clean this up today but first um let's go ahead get the carrier ready and get them ready to go to the vet all right guys so we just got back from the vet a little bit ago and all good news coda's blood work came back completely normal so no issues there he received his rhdv2 vaccine as well as a teeth trim and it has only been like two and a half weeks. I want to say like two weeks and three days since his last teeth trim. And they were already grown so long that they were overlapping. So it's really good that I went ahead and got his teeth trimmed today. And at the rate that they're growing, you know, trimming his teeth every like two and a half weeks is going to get really expensive. So I want to get him in for that surgery as soon as possible. So the vet did say that he's still it's an okay weight. He should be weighing more, but that there might not be anything we can do about that until he gets his teeth removed. It might not be able, he might not be able to eat enough food on his own until we just get those teeth out. So she said he's not, you know, lethargic. He's got a good energy level. So he's good to go ahead and have the surgery scheduled. So I scheduled the surgery for next week. So Coda will have his teeth removed, both his top and bottom front incisors next week. And then after that, he should be all good, all healthy, hopefully no issues. And he should be on the way to gaining more weight, eating more food, learning to do normal rabbit things, all of that. So I'm very excited about that. Coda, come here. So that's good. I'm very glad that his problem has a quick solution, an easy solution. It's expensive, but it does, you know, obviously his teeth will be removed and then the problem will be solved and he can be on his way to eating proper rabbit food and <laughs> gaining some weight. So I'm going to go ahead and clean their pen here behind me. Um, like I said, it's a mess. He peed outside the box. Like it just, it's a mess in there. So let's go ahead and get to cleaning that.
All right, guys, so it is much later now. It is now the evening, and I'm going to make the bunnies their, like, evening dry herb and forage salad. It's kind of like a combination of all these dried herbs and forages that I have here, and I usually put it in this bowl with a little bit of special hay. So this right here is oat hay. So I'm actually going to grab their pellets and just put one tablespoon of pellets in here because we did get the other tablespoons earlier today. So this is one tablespoon of the Shearwood rabbit pellets. And then you guys can't even see all of it, but I have all of this forage here, all of these here, and more forage over here. So I definitely have accumulated quite the collection. And so I just mix it up every day different kinds of forage. Um, this right here is usually a staple for me. I believe these are strawberry leaves. I don't have the label offhand, but I'm gonna assume these are strawberry leaves. I bought them in like a huge bulk bag. So they are pretty finely cut up here. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some of that. And then I usually add a um, higher value herb. So that could be dill, or I have in here marigold, or sometimes I add in these dandelion, um, not, yeah, dandelion root bits that I have in this jar, or these oat groat bites. So today I'm gonna add in the dandelion bits, dandelion bark bits, I guess. <laughs> And then I'm gonna add in one of these pain and inflammation support poppers from the well-kept rabbit as well. Luna likes these, so she will have to forage through that to find it. And then last up, I'm gonna add one of my curated forages here. So today I'm going to go with the, hmm, I think the gas and bloat relief forage. Um, none of them, neither of them have gas or bloat relief right now, but it does just, support digestion in, in general. So it's it's fine to feed um, daily. So I'm just gonna do a small sprinkle of this as well. This has a wider variety of herbs. And then last thing I'm going to add are these Timothy hay cubes. Again, I don't give these every night, but these are just Timothy hay. There's no other ingredients in here. So they aren't very high value and it will take the rabbits a few days to actually Get around to eating these just because they're not especially high value treats and it's basically just like hay to them it's no different a few of those in there and then that is what i do for their evening salad and a huge reason i do this is because with the pellets buried in here as coda is trying to get those pellets which are his high reward treat he will likely end up consuming also herbs and forages and hopefully hay and other kinds of things like that so it's kind of like a way for me to get coda to interact with more kinds of food as well as, you know, it is a variety of herbs for their overall health and also enrichment. So let's go ahead and give this to the bunnies. Are you excited? Come here. Here you go. Luna. Luna. So it is now time to give the pigs all of their evening stuff. So I'm gonna start off with pellets and then we will do veggies. You just bit my finger. You guys 
want some peppers? Here you go. Good night, everybody. Good night.